Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a complex system. Not a very complicated system but a complex system and I'm kind of sorry about the way I gave you W bar because I could not find a better uh, character uh, which I can use like I think Unicode is that what it's called? Anyways, it's hard to find uh, this type of uh, character or symbol. If you do know of a better one, please let me know because I'm curious. I was able to find Z-bar, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, but anyways, this is what it means. W-bar is the complex conjugate of W. W is a complex number, which you can see right here. And Z-bar is the complex conjugate of Z. Make sense? So we have this complicated or conjugated complex system which we're going to solve and I'll be presenting two methods I'd like to present different methods I know some people are like oh why are we doing the first method I know sometimes I present something that you would never use but it's also good to know what you wouldn't be doing right obviously if you're taking a test or it's a math competition you don't want to go the wrong way or the long way anyways let's start with the first method and here's how the first method works plain and simple What's the name of this channel? You should know that, right? A plus BI. So we're going to start by setting Z equal to A plus BI and W equal to C plus DI. Sorry, A plus BI, we had to use other letters for W because they don't have to be the same, right? So now we're going to plug this into our system and that's going to give us another system which we're going to hopefully solve and then come back and find Z and W. That's our goal. Uh, so if you plug these into the first equation you're gonna get oh by the way I forgot to say w prime is gonna be what prime come on w bar is gonna be c minus di and z bar is just gonna be a minus bi you see my w bar is better than the typeset character whatever that is so now hopefully you're gonna let me know if you find a good w uh, bar right you can even copy paste it in the comments because I can copy and paste it from there too sometimes I do it's funny because some people write exponents radicals integral symbols and I just copy them and keep a collection because obsessed with symbols I guess obsessed with symbols owls anyways so let's plug it in z plus w bar it's gonna be a plus bi plus c minus di. That's going to give us 3 plus 2i. And then the second equation is w, which is c plus di, minus, let's use parentheses, a minus bi. And that's equal to 5 minus 4i. Great. This is a system, but we need to simplify it to make it um, nicer looking. And for that, we're going to put together the real parts and the imaginary parts, because each equation is going to give us another system. Notice that there are four variables and we do need four equations. Isn't that fun? So now D plus B is going to be the imaginary part here. And imagine you're solving a system with four variables. That would be lots of fun, right? So now this is our new system. But from here again, we get two equations. So what does this mean? When you have two complex numbers that are equal, then their real parts are equal. If their real parts are equal, think about it, they cancel out, leaving us with the imaginary parts, and then they have to be equal because I cancels out. Isn't that fun? So now we can safely say that A plus C is equal to 3, B minus D is equal to 2, C minus A is equal to 5, and D plus B is equal to negative 4. By the way, even though we got four equations, they can kind of be solved a little independently. Like you don't have to act on all four at the same time, but you can kind of focus on these two equations, for example. Let's go ahead and pull them apart and isolate, kind of like this, because these two equations only contain A and C. And when you add them, you're going to get C equals 4 from here, and that implies A is equal to negative 1. Nice, we already got A and C. And then now use this one along with this one. So now we get B minus D is equal to 2 d plus b is equal to negative 4. Add those up, d is going to cancel out, 2b or not 2b is a negative 2, oh I had to say that, sorry. b equals negative 1 from here and what is d? d equals, if you plug in, okay great, negative 4 plus 1, negative 3. Let me check my work, negative 1 plus 3 is 2, okay good. So I got it right, 
these are the values. What's interesting about the system is that we kind of find A and C together, but A and C don't belong to the same number. Make sense? So we kind of get the real part of Z and then the imaginary part of W because of the way the system is given. And I especially wanted to give it to you this way because you'll see in a little bit why that's the case because I don't want to say it right now. But you probably figured it out. Anyways, so that's our system. We got everything we need. Let's go ahead and write it down. Z is equal to A plus BI, which is negative 1 minus I. And W is C plus DI, which is 4 minus 3I. Make sense? A plus BI and C plus DI. I. Okay, so those should be the solutions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I think you're going to like the second method because I like the second method. But again, I could be biased because I kind of thought about this problem. So definitely there's a lot of bias in there. But let me know what you think. Okay, this is our system. So here's what I'm going to do. I noticed, well, I wrote the problem, so it would be kind of false to say, but anyways, you get the idea. So pretend that I'm new to the problem, okay? So I, I would probably notice, if I didn't see this problem before, uh, that there's a plus sign and a minus sign. That kind of gives me a good clue that I can cancel things out. Unfortunately, though, there's nothing to cancel out. But we can make it happen. How? By conjugating both sides. Now, remember the property of conjugates. If you take like two complex numbers, like Z1 and Z2, and let's say you want to conjugate their sum, then you can write it as a sum of conjugates. Same thing goes for the minus sign, and same thing goes for multiplication and division. Isn't that nice? So we can apply that property and maybe conjugate both sides in the first equation, and that'll give us Z bar plus w bar a bar double bar is going to give us w and then on the right hand side if you bar 3 plus 2i you're going to get the complex conjugate of 3 plus 2i which is 3 minus 2i now when these two equations are taken together what do you notice <laughs> we only have two variables isn't that awesome i think this is awesome anyways let me know what you think now we can go ahead and work on these two equations and if you add these two equations, z bar is going to cancel out, leaving us with 2w, and that's just awesome, I think. From here, we can divide both sides by 2 and get w as 4 minus 3i. Now, how would you get z? There's a couple different ways to do it. You can go ahead and plug in w into one of these equations, probably the top one, because the top equation is z plus w bar is equal to 3 plus 2i. If w is 4 minus 3i, w bar is going to be 4 plus 3i plug it in here, you're going to get z plus 4 plus 3i equals 3 plus 2i. And if you subtract this, you get z equals negative 1 minus i. And that will be the exact same solution we got with the first method. So our solutions check. Okay. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and don't forget to watch the videos on my other channel, CyberMath. And bye-bye.